what does a mango, bag of mangoes, bag of oranges, and a bag of grapes all have to do with your thyroid? Well, when patients come in and they're asking if they can save their thyroid with radiofrequency ablation, it totally depends on what we're looking at, especially if it's a multi-nodular goiter. So for a nodular goiter, that's like this, where you would have your normal thyroid, which is represented by the bag, and a big nodule, which is represented by the mango. In those situations, radiofrequency ablation works perfect because we're going to shrink that mango significantly and usually fix all the symptoms. Other patients walk in with this scenario where they've got a big thyroid with a few big nodules inside of it. And those patients might or might not benefit from radiofrequency ablation. But where it starts to get harder is if patients walk in with a big thyroid that's full of, you know, dozens of smaller nodules. How are we going to help by shrinking a couple of those? We're not really going to help. And the worst case scenario of all is when the whole thyroid just looks very irregular and there's really not any target inside of there that we can treat. And so if you're looking to fix your symptoms, it really depends that the doctor that's seeing you actually does their own ultrasound and tries to figure out which of those types of nodules you are and how they're going to help you. Because not all patients are exactly the same. If you have a benign nodule, you can almost always save your thyroid, but getting symptomatic relief sometimes involves more tools than just radiofrequency ablation.